Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing My Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, Episode 3, titled Teamwork. So we open up this episode with a brand new location titled called the Angel Grove High School, where we see Trini and Kimberly are trying to get people to sign a petition to basically shut down a dub site on the outskirts of town by harassing passerbys. So after that, we see Jason, Zach, and Billy come over and sign a petition. When Trini, Billy, when Trini and Kimberly ask them if they're going to come while they um, get the petition, but they all have stuff to do. Jason can because he has a karate class, which he teaches at the youth center. Billy has a meeting as the president of the science club. And Zach can because Alpha asked him to stop by the command center. And somehow this gets all misconstrued because the girls become really passive aggressive when they all have legitimate excuses why they not going. Then Trini said, well, I think it would be better if all of them work as a team. Then after the guys leave Boca Sober ride, and we see them basically be dicks to Kimberly and Trini. With some other female, which is not really named, they decide to be real jerks by just rolling garbage cans around the hallways, which Kimberly unnecessarily flips over, but yeah. And they also trick Boca Skull to hugging and almost kissing. Um, then we also cut to the Moon Palace, and we see Rita is bragging about her dump site for some reason. But I thought she wanted to take over her. What's the whole point of doing that when the Earth is going to be polluted? Anyways, we cut to Kim and Trini showing up at the place, and they feel sketched out because it definitely looks pretty sketchy. Then we see the putties come and attack them, attack the girls, which leads to a pretty good putty fight with the girls. And I, I really like how it shows them as strong and capable. Yeah. Then we cut to the command center where we see Zack is teaching Alpha how to dance. Which I kind of confused, like, that's the important thing that Alpha asked you for, Zack? Wow. After that, Zordon sees that the girls are getting attacked by putties and basically alerts Jack Jason and Billy and they basically teleport to the command center right away. We cut to Fencer and he is basically making a new monster called Minotaur. He sends it down, and then Jason, Billy, and Zach morph to go fight him off. It's morphin' time. Triceratops! Mastodon! Tyrannosaurus! Power Rangers! We see them try that, and, uh, and they're really struggling against him. Then we also see Goldar shows up near the girls, and they, so they morph as well. And then after that, we basically see that Trini gets a really nice, I guess, throw kick on Godar. We Meanwhile, after that, we see the guys are still struggling against the Minotaur. And then we see a Babula squad basically throwing rocks at them. Then basically after that, we see Rio basically throw her stab down, making Minotaur grow. And then we see our first case of original suit footage. Where we see Jason basically calling Kimberly and Trini to basically say summon their Zord. Now I want to take a little sidetrack and talk about the original suit. Um, the helmet looks odd. You can see it's completely darker than the costume itself, which is a little weird. It's clear that they did not have the costumes that they used in Zoo Ranger. But also, a quick another funny note, if you pause the scene right there with Kimberly and Trini, you can see that there was a little kid, which is also from Zoo Ranger, the, I think the fourth episode of Zoo Ranger. So, yeah, that's interesting. Clearly, if you, did, if you got that, then it's cool. So, we see all five of them summon her, all four of them summon her Zord. Kimberly doesn't summon her Zord because in the footage of her trying to summon her Zord, the kid is in the footage, so they couldn't use that. So, the kid, their adaptive Zord just come out of nowhere. Then, after that, they jump into their Zords and then they transform it to Tank Mode. And, and then, after that, Zordon calls them out of the battle. And basically gives them their power weapon. So Jason gets the power sword, Jack the power axe, Billy the power lance, Trini the power dagger, and Kimberly the power bow. And we also find out that they, they, that they can combine all the weapons and become the power blaster. So we basically see them combine to the power blaster and defeat the Minotaur. And we cut back to the moon palace and we see the baddies all angry at each other for the failure. But really, why is everybody not mad at Rita? Because she escalated the battle for no reason when she was winning already. But anyways. Then the Rangers go back to the high school where we see all the trash from earlier for what Bocus Gold caused. Then we see the principal of Angel Grove High School. Principal Kaplan comes in and just straight up blames the Rangers for what Bocus Gold did for all the trash. 
but yeah, so both the principal makes the Rangers clean up. So we see them clean up in like speed of foot. And then after that, we see the episode ends with Alpha trying to dance and basically making a mess in the command center. And that's it for today's episode. Anyways, this episode was actually pretty cool, but also had a lot of problems with balancing the um original plot with the Sentai plot, as you can tell. We also have some moments where you can see some stuff from Zoo Ranger that couldn't get completely cut out and like why did Kimberly not summon her Zord? But if you watch Zoom Ranger, you know the reason. Because that kid was in the background, so they obviously could not use that. And we see the that Jason's suit was weirdly colored. The helmet didn't match the color of the suit. That was a little odd. But yeah, overall this episode was okay. But yeah. And it was kind of weird to see Kimberly and Trini mad at the guys. When they also had general, genuinely good reasons for not going. But other than that, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And till then, may the power protect you. Mm-hmm.